All right, Jen, I gotta be honest. I was debating oh, no. recycling Swan the Swan of his shirt. <laughs> But my concern is Emma's changed, and I don't know if I'm ready for the Dark One's jelly. Wow. You don't want to be a ship with me anymore? How evil is she? <laughs> you don't like the darkness? <laughs> <laughs> I like it, but I, I need to see it. I need to see it. How does the darkness uh, manifest itself in Emma? Is she rude? Is she distant? Is she lick my boots sub? She's free. She's no longer responsible for anything. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, um... Yeah, it's thanks. Cool. <laughs> She's responsible for everything now. So uh, if you have any problems, call Regina. Uh, if you want to have a good time, call Emma. <laughs> How are we describing her look? I've seen a couple of the pictures, and it's uh, um, edgy. We were sort of thinking about the idea of like the the evil version of Snow White. You know, like skin as white as snow and lips as red as blood, um, and then mixing that with the idea of the black and white swan. So. There are elements of, uh, you know, sort of the white hair feeling like a remnant of the white swan and then sort of the darker clothing being the, the cloaking of the darkness. And um, so, yeah, it was sort of a mixture of those ideas. And there's a little David Bowie in there and a little Blondie in there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, a little, Maybe a little Lady Gaga. There's a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we didn't use any references of images of her, but um, yeah, that's a good point. Um, yeah, a lot of those sort of like, uh, you know, 70s rock stars, I've gotten a lot of photos of that, those guys from Eddie in the last three months. So season four has just ended. You're all out on the street, the dagger spinning on the ground. It shows that it's got Emma's name. What are the immediate reactions from all her loved ones? Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. She's like, what an idiot. Here we go again. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. I'm not a loved I mean, one. I'm in a cell, so I didn't see it. That's true. You, you, I'm in a padded cell, but what's going on? Well, I guess, Jenny and Josh, I guess maybe the silver lining here, if there is one, is you do have the dagger, and the dagger is used to control the dark one. So maybe that's a plus? Maybe we'll actually a, address that in the first episode. Yeah, we'll address it. And maybe there are some caveats that it, it doesn't quite work the way that we all think it works. So um, there's some other There's some rules to, to the it. universe that need to be addressed. We find out mm -hmm. some rules about how it works. Of course, now we're down to savior. So will someone have to step into that void, Lana? It seems so. It seems that like that's the effort? direction. Yeah, well, yeah, I think. Um, well, I've been told that she's sort of, we're flipping. flipping. Mm -hmm. So I think um, Regina's going to have to band together with everyone to save Emma. As much as I know that Killian is probably worried for Emma, mm -hmm. I have to imagine that the bad boy buccaneer within him, if he ever comes face to face with dark Emma, it might, you know, raise his, raise his inner pi pirate's flag. Oh, yeah, yeah, must, yeah. Wow. Uh, I'm um, blushing. That's why he has the pillow. <laughs> I definitely think that he, uh, I think he'd, he'd be very happy about her, her change of clothes. Uh, but uh, no, look, Hook, uh, he's, he, he loves Emma and uh, he loves her for who she is as the saviour. And he spent so much of last season trying to protect her, like everybody else, from the darkness. And I think that he'll do whatever it takes to try and bring that person back because he knows what it's like to give into the darkness. Meanwhile, Rumpel is no longer the dark one. So Emily, what does that mean for Belle? Is she kind of looking forward to seeing what her husband's like without that going on? Yeah, she's got lots of journaling going on right now. She can't really express herself to him very well. A little coma in the way. Ah, yeah. okay. <laughs> you know, things happen. Um, no, it, it, it's cool. I think it is. It's going to be really interesting seeing their dynamic, which you've never really seen before. Rebecca, congratulations on your promotion to series regular. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> Now, both you and Sean McGuire got promoted. Now, when I heard about him, I was like, oh, I guess that means smooth sailing for Robin and Regina. But if you also got promoted, maybe not. Yeah, sort of felt a bit of a cog in the works with the old pregnancy. I um, feel a bit bad, just did some interviews with Sean. He you know, really made me realize what I've actually really done. It's, it's, <laughs> That's what it took. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're sort of chatting and done the, you know, saying it over and over again. I'm like, it's actually really awful. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I killed Marion, whatever. That's totally normal. But like, really tricking him like that. And I'm like, totally pregnant. I'm like, absolutely stuck with me for 18 years like where am I going and they can't kill me mm. I mean it's genius what a great man <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like a bad smell do you have to let it linger they cannot get rid of me it's absolutely genius and then uh, they announced at uh, comic-con that we've cast Merida yes, yes. Mm -hmm. so uh, do we have any idea what we're gonna be doing with that character who, who gets to play with her someone, someone in this room, room. yes interact mm. with her someone oh, and, nice. and you'll see her in the first handful of episodes mm -hmm. 